Hi right, guys, Tim Man here. This one I just wanted to chuck on and let you have a look at the results of this little setup. Uh, very nice indeed. Here we have the ever famous Tesla bifilar pancake coil I wound. It's 180 layers or 180 wraps from centre out. Um, I wound two on at a time of course and then hooked them up in series as the specifications say the trigger coil I made a tower um, I'm using that as a trigger I did wind a pancake coil just a single layer as a trigger I was able to pump out a lot more amps with that but the results weren't as good this one here has turned out very nice um, standard SSG circuit with my two diodes the power saver setup this extra transistor is there because I tried a Darlington pair to get some more amps through it but it didn't work so it got disconnected and I've just left it there they're both soldered together and our diode coming off that so I'm just using a steel case, nothing else on there. Now there's 12.2 volts on our power supply but I've got two diodes here as you can see hooked in parallel to protect my power supply because I've already toasted it a couple of times throwing the amp readings out and I don't want to do it again because I've just fixed it once again. As you can see, um, this one only goes down to 10 milliamps, is the first reading. But because of those two diodes, we've dropped a bit of the voltage going into the coil. Um, I've hooked this meter up on the back side of the diodes, and it's actually 11.63, 12.2, so we're losing about 0.6 of a volt, which is normal for your standard diodes. So the power being consumed at the moment, or the watts being consumed, is 11.63 volts at 1 milliamp. Um, now our 12 volt battery is at 12.43 volts with 1 milliamp going into it. And that is our waveform at the moment. It's a cross between a sawtooth and a square wave. It's a very nice, even, neat pattern. This pancake coil, the bifilo one, gives some serious kickback and I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll disconnect the charge lead just so you can see that it's working. Um, got our 110 volt neon and remember we only got one milliamp going into this thing and check that out. And there's our waveform. Hook it back up. Disconnect it. So like I said, definitely going in there and that's the results of this one at the moment which is most pleasing there's our watts in and there's our watts out very very nice coil very powerful um, with the other coil on when I was putting more amps through it it, and I disconnected there to see if the um, high voltage was going through it actually lit this globe up that hard to split the glass and that was only on about 4 milliamps so a very serious kickback on those coils so that's where we're at I thought that was um, very good but uh, 1 milliamp at 12.43 going into our charge battery and we've got 1 milliamp at 11.63 volts going into our coil so once again that's what's going in and that's what's coming out till next time, cheers from the tin man